Hello everyone, this is the Rocker 57 here again, and I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial on how to speed up your internet just a little bit. Now, I was recommended or requested this by uh, one of the comments on my last video, so this is this is for him or her. Now, so basically, I'm not showing you how you can up your internet speed per se. So if I go to, over to speedtest.net here, so that is speedtest.net type that in hit enter and I'll let the page load up and all you gotta do is you hit begin test it'll find the nearest server to you I have happened to be in or I, I know directions I happen to be in California I know where I live and so as you can see my internet speed is around 30 megabytes per second 31 32 it's it's around there now I will we only have a package for 30 megabytes per second download speed and a 5 megabytes per second upload speed but as you can see I've used many of these tricks and it's been bumped up by a considerable amount now this is going to be relative to whatever your internet speed is so if you only have 1 megabyte per second download speed it's not going to add 3 more megabytes per second onto what you already have it'll maybe add maybe a quarter of a megabyte I don't megabyte per second that is now you can see mine's a little bit higher than usual and normally what I would do is one of the tricks you can use is go go to uh, name bench I think I just opened up another tab yep uh, you go to name bench you just look that up name bench download this right here just go to downloads I have windows so I'm just gonna click on windows here download and then it'll download onto your browser you just drag it to your desktop and you can run this extract it and once you run it it'll give you your three best DNS servers for you to use now I'll just wait for this to load and I'll run the program it takes quite a bit of time and once it's finished I'll show you the end product so I ran it here and I believe it should be running and in the meantime I will show you something else if you have Internet Explorer don't bad idea if you have Firefox decent pretty good I like it it's nice I don't use it but it's nice I recommend Google Chrome now if you have Google Chrome already and your speed is still very slow you might have a problem with add-ons so you want to go up here to the top right and click this little button here click that go down to tools and to extensions you want to click that now as you can see I don't want this I have it disabled but I don't want it so I just hit delete remove and it's gone I have a few of these that I actually do use I've disabled my int or my antivirus but I still have the protection now if you have them but they're decently low maintenance leave them on there you don't need to delete all of them but if you have stuff like ask toolbar and stuff delete those because that'll definitely slow down your speed so the next thing is when you're surf surfing the web and searching things and you have a bunch of tabs open don't have 40 of them all open at the same time it's it's not a good idea because as you can see they're all taking forever to load but if you only have one open there it is it's it's right away it's very quick granted my internet speed is pretty good which allows me to actually do this but it's still going to help now next I'll show you with name bench so what you want to do is just leave everything the same don't change anything and then just click start benchmark it'll run it and I'll check back with you once it's finished hello everyone I'm back the rocker 57 still here and as you can see name bench has done its job it's it's done it finished it opened up the Internet Explorer and gave you three servers to choose from now this is the best one right now I'm currently using the 8.8.8 .8 .8 Point eight four eights I don't know how to count uh, four eights DNS server it's just 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4 those are the two DNS servers that Google provides now 
This one is supposedly 87.2% faster, most likely for the reason it has less network traffic. Now, if you want to go change your DNS server, you're going to have to go through these steps. So right click on your desktop, go to personalize or screen resolution, click one of those two, then click back to control panel, then go to network and internet, then network and sharing center. Once you have that, you want to make sure that you're connected to the internet, unlike I am. So once you're connected to the internet, you want to click on that, the name, or you can click change adapter settings, right click it, properties, and then you want to scroll down to internet protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4. Click properties, bring this up. Now as you can see, you're going to have to click use the following DNS server addresses. And I have the two Google DNS servers, 8.8.8.8.8.8.4.4. 8 These are two separate DNS servers. This is your preferred and this is your alternate. So what I recommend doing is going on and opening this back up and putting in 209 or whatever yours comes up as. Yours is definitely not going to be the same. 209.18.4. Point six one. Now, after you have that put in, you want to go and put in your secondary. Now, this one doesn't work for me the way I have my internet set up. This is the same as my IP address and my def or it's the same as my default gateway, so I can't use that. But what you're going to want to use is your secondary server. I'm going to just punch in my uh, hereditary server which is 216.146.35.35. Now, you'd normally put in your first and second, but I'm going to have a fallback of my Google DNS server, which I always like to have just in case anything happens. Once you have it all put in, hit OK, close, close, and you should be good to go. You should be able to open internet pages without a problem. You can go ahead and close name bench, delete that, and you're good to go. Alright everyone, I hope this tutorial maybe helped you speed up your internet speed a little bit. Now I'm going to go to a separate internet provider test. It's testmy.net versus speedtest.net. You go to this website and it uses bigger packet sizes because speedtest.net, as you can see, it's very quick. It's extremely fast in its testing. Way too fast to be very accurate. Granted, it gives you an idea of what you have, but it may be a difference of 3 or 4 megabytes per second, which can be a big deal. I had a problem with my stream that I set up, or my upload speed. I was literally maxing it out at what the highest it was, and it was slightly over what I actually truly had. So this you can see it's a little bit faster than when we started because I did unclog per se the imaginary internet pipes by changing my DNS server and as you can see the upload speed is still going to be roughly the same. It doesn't really affect the upload speed any and it should load but I'm just not going to finish the test here and we can go test my .net and get a more accurate result here. It's going to load through and I'll get back to you when it is finished. Alrighty everyone, back here for the last time. As you can see, 30 point f or 35.4 megabytes per second and the upload speed of 5 megabytes per second. And it'll give you your averages for your US or wherever you live. So my internet speed is 2% faster than my average. It's a little bit quicker than it normally is. 48% faster than the host, i.e. Internet Explorer, not Internet Explorer, I don't like Internet Explorer, I meant whoever your internet provider is. Now I have, I can't remember who I have, so if you have AT and, no, not Attack on Titan, AT and T, it'll have their internet packages, if you have Time Warner Cable, that's what I have, Time Warner Cable, it'll have that it'll give you what's your average. So Time Warner Cable's average 
of 23.8 megabytes per second. I'm faster than that. And then as you can see the city average and the US average and the index average. So that's just all internet speeds compiled together from all the tests. And it'll also give you your upload speed respectively. I hope this video has helped you learn something. If it didn't speed up your internet, I hope you did at least get an idea of how things can work a little differently if you change some options around. Maybe you can fiddle with it. Maybe you can get something out of this. But I hope this helped. The Rocker 57 signing out. Have a good day.